All right, today I'm gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Binro uh, tripod right here. It is a travel tripod, Rhino Carbon Fiber. It says right here, it says Rhino Carbon Fiber Tripod with Ball Head, okay? So I'm gonna be unboxing this one right here to show you uh, the travel tripod. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this right here. And pull it out, it comes in plastic sleeve. So what I'm going to do is a twisty tie right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Pull this out. And right here is Binro. It, there comes a tool inside of this. Let's see what this is all about. There's a tool right here. There are Allen wrenches or hex wrenches, whatever you want to call them. And there seems to be instructions right here to read by. It talks about the quick release. Uh, manual right here on how to use. Put this to the side. All right, so I'll have that. And then comes in a nice carrying case right here, carrying sleeve. It looks like there's somewhat of a cushion around it. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out of this case right here. It's relatively small. Fits in a pack. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And so here it is right here. I'm going to take a look at the case really quick before I get into the actual tripod. The case has pockets where you can put some things in there if you'd like. And this is the padded. has a zip tie. Not zip tie, but little drawstring right here, collapsible drawstring, and the shoulder strap can actually be adjusted to make it smaller or larger. Push this to the side. All right, so here is the <clears throat> tripod. There's a little tab right here. I need to cut this off. I'm just going to go ahead and unfold it really quick, and then I'm going to set the camera up so you can get a better view of it. So I open it up. It clicks into place. It's one thing, so you pull it down and it clicks into place. So it's whichever width that you want it to, and it locks. So it has this right here, locks into place. And you can stand it up right here, see that? Uh, one thing to notice, I'm gonna go back and talk about the legs before I talk about this cool feature here. It has the ball, the bubble uh, leveler right here, which is pretty cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and, <clears throat> so to make it wider or to collapse it, you just simply press on this button and do it like that and you pull it back. All right, so press on the button, it goes up like that, pretty cool. All right, so let's talk about the leveler up here. I'm gonna go ahead and push this back down get this into place right here. And the reason why I'm doing this right here is so I can get lower. I don't want to adjust the camera, my camera right now. So I'm just going to lower this down some. Doing that. All right, so here is the ball. There's an adjustable, so you can raise it or lower right here. All right, lower it, get carbon fiber. And the knob right here so you can tighten this excess and loosen it up so you can spin it around. And here is the ball joint right here. This is the ball joint. You can tighten it like that really smooth. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip at all. And here is the quick release right here. Uh, let's see. Not exactly sure. Oh, yeah. Not exactly sure how to get this off, really. Oh yeah. Not exactly sure how to get this off. I'll have to figure this out. Pull that off. So this is right here. This is where you attach your camera to or whatever device you're gonna be using. Not exactly sure how to get this off yet. But I will figure it out shortly. All 
Not exactly sure. I'll figure that out later. But anyway, this is the plate, the mounting plate right here. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, the quick release, I believe, is somewhere around here. Gotta find it in one second. Oh yeah, there you go. All right, so with the quick release, it comes like this. And I haven't figured it out. Pause. All right, so I figured it out. So you just simply loosen this up and then pull it like that. And it comes off just like that. And then so you can attach this to your camera and put it back into place and just screw it into place. And it has a safety lock feature to where it's not just gonna slip out unless you pull up and twist it to this area right here to where it can be released. So that's a pretty cool feature that this has right here. Uh, I'm gonna play around with this and figure more about it, but uh, what I wanna do now is I just wanna extend it, show you the, how it extends. Here the extension on the legs, just simply loosen it and then tighten it back in. Locks it back into place, very secure. And this right here. Locks it in place, just like that. I'm gonna stand it up tall so you can see it all together. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, but before we get that, yeah, look at the feet right here. Rubber feet right here, pretty good for keeping grip. I'm gonna go ahead and extend the whole thing. All right, so this is how it looks right here. You see that? Fully standing up right here. Fairly sturdy. One thing to notice around here, underneath you could Weigh it down is a hook for weighing things down right here. So for you to weigh the tripod down so it doesn't get blown away or tilted over really easily. So that's a pretty nice feature to have right there. There's one, other, one more feature that I'm gonna show you really quick. And that is like flipping it upside down and using it in a different way. So let me go ahead and hold this right here so you can see this, what I'm about to show you right now. So I'm gonna basically I'm gonna basically take the tripod, I'm gonna collapse it. All right, so I'm gonna collapse the tripod. This is a feature that I saw when I was purchasing it and it might be really good for getting low shots at some point. I'm just gonna go ahead and collapse it. Probably don't need to collapse all of the legs, but I'm gonna collapse them to, before I show you. Go like that, that. And this is what I saw, it's quite interesting. It, it looked like it was almost upside down, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go like this. This is a cool feature. I, I'm gonna try to see if I can actually do it, but they had it upside down. You could use this to get some certain low angle shots right here. And they pretty much attached the camera to the, you know, to the, to this right here, to the plate, and they extended the legs like this. Right there. And what they do basically, you got the low angle shot upside down and they held it down like this. So it's pretty cool. Something like that. I'm gonna try this this way out with this particular a tripod eventually for getting a low, low, low tripod shot. Weighted down. All right, so that is the tripod, the, uh, the Benro tripod. I hope this was helpful. This unboxing was helpful so you get a good idea about it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.